Well, the government is about to subsidise a new medical treatment which helps improve the lifestyle of people suffering from HIV. It's a product which can be injected into a patient's face to overcome the wasted and sunken appearance that's caused by the drugs which those suffering from the disease must take to stay alive. Now joining us in the studio to talk about it is Dr Joseph Hickick of All Saints Cosmetical Clinic in Sydney. Dr Hickick, thank you so much for coming in this afternoon. So just tell us first of all about this facial wasting in HIV patients. How, how prevalent is that? It's very prevalent. One in eight patients living with HIV in Australia at the moment are suffering from severe facial lipoatrophy. And, and how does that... How does that manifest itself? Well, these patients initially start to lose a little bit of volume from their face, but eventually it gives them a, a more general skeletal appearance, very much the skin and bone. What's actually causing it? Is it the HIV or is it the drugs? It's a combination, but the majority of the uh, lipoatrophy is caused by the drugs. All right, so this new treatment that we're talking about here, how does that work to counteract that? Well, Sculptra is not a new product. Sculptra is a product, a safe product, has been around for about 12 years now. We've been using it in, in Australia since, now, since 2002. Uh, Sculptra is a product that is injected underneath the skin, and it promotes the, uh, the body's own collagen production, and as a result, it reconsoles the face and fill the areas that we need to fill. So you see pretty good results with it? Absolutely. And, and does it have any side effects? Like any, any injectable that we use on the face, there's four common side effects. Redness, swelling, bruising and tenderness, which will settle within a few days. And in very, very rare occasion, you can get tiny lumps underneath the skin, but they're not visible on the skin, so the patient's quite happy with that. So it's purely an aesthetic procedure? Uh, it's more than an aesthetic, because with the HIV-positive patient, really having the lipoatrophy, it causes a lot of depression, a lot of anxiety. It's stigmatizing for them, so it's, it's a bit more than skin deep. So just give us an idea of what percentage of HIV patients might have this facial um, wasting, as you call it. What, one in eight patients will have severe lipoatrophy. Uh, if, you, if you look at any type of lipoatrophy, more than that, but the patient that will be benefiting from this and their quality of life will improve will be one in eight patients. Um, in Australia at the moment, I think uh, as of September 2008, there were about 28,000 patients suffering from HIV. Uh, so what, one in eight of those patients will be benefiting from this, uh, this product. And so does the product work on all of those patients? The product work on most patients. Some patients will get much better results than other, uh, other patient, but the majority are quite happy. So it's, it's a big step to have the drug subsidised, isn't it? Is that, that's going to make it a lot more available? Absolutely. Uh, being HIV positive, you need a lot more product to achieve the desired results. Uh, that becomes by itself prohibitive because uh, it is quite an expensive procedure. So it's a, a positive step to, for these patients. All right, some good news for once. Dr. Hickick, thanks so much for coming in explaining all of that. Thank you, Jacinta. See you again.